Do you covertly attempt to control others? <laughs> covertly attempt. <laughs> I don't attempt to control others either covertly or overtly. <laughs> the uh, main reason why is that any attempt to control another person is out of harmony with the principles of divine truth. So again, I would suggest people have a look at the um, material that I gave on the gift of free will and there are only a few times when you would actually attempt to control somebody in a physical sense and I certainly don't engage in any of those type of forms of control anyway. My, my feeling is that most people are so afraid of being controlled that most of the time they are controlled almost every day by things and events that they really don't understand about. And the reason why is because they've got so much fear about being controlled. A lot of people project all of this stuff about uh, cults at me because they have just so much fear inside of themselves of being controlled. Now, why does a person have fear inside of themselves about being controlled? It's primarily because when they grew up as a child, they were controlled most of the time. And that's why now, as an adult, they have so much fear in them about being controlled. If they dealt with this fear, if they actually released the emotions relating to the fear of being controlled as a child, and that requires them going through you know, their childhood and were looking at the different experiences they had with either one or both of their parents that were controlling, once they come out of that experience, they wouldn't have any fear of being controlled by anyone because they'd realise that they have the ability to walk away at any time, they have the ability to move away at any time, and even if somebody puts you in prison, they still can't control what you think, they still can't control how, what you desire, they still can't control what you put as your highest priorities in your life. So it's totally impossible for somebody to control another, particularly once we've released the fear of being controlled from ourselves. So I would suggest that anybody who's accusing me of controlling others probably needs to have a good look at the fear that they have regarding their own parents and the amount of control they received as a child. You mentioned that when we have the fear of being controlled, we become controlled. How does that work? Because we have the fear of being controlled, we are, and we're unable to release that fear, we are now not able to recognise when we're being controlled or manipulated by our own fear. And any sensitive person around us who is also manipulative and, and you know, what I would classify as unloving will attempt to bribe us using our fear or blackmail us using our fear. And what I mean by that is they bribe us by giving us the things that our fear dictates we need, such as safety. So this is one way that governments bribe us. They say, oh, we're doing this because we're making you feel safer. The reality is I've just taken away half of your rights, yeah. like you know, like what happened in the USA when when 9/11 occurred, mm -hmm. um, and then a, a government enacted a, a whole uh, legislation that took away the rights of people, saying they were doing that because they were you know providing more safety, and the reality is that is a method of control. You, you, you're basically saying to a person, I'm making you safe by taking away your right to decide. And uh, that's not a way to make a person safe at all. And people didn't question that because they are so caught up in not experiencing their fear of being, of being unsafe. Exactly. That someone just has to say, I'm making you safer. When in actual fact, if they are in a, a situation where their civil rights would have protected them in the past, now they have less rights, so they're less safe. So actually they're less yeah, safe. Yeah. They're less safe than they were before yeah. from a free will perspective, but uh, they believe they're more safe because, and, and it's the fear of the lack of safety that drove them to that point. So this is how it's very, very easy to manipulate a person once they're out, you know, once they are not releasing their fear and they don't recognise they're living in this fear. Uh, it's very, very easy to manipulate a person after that. Now, a person who's loving won't do that. They won't manipulate your fear. What they'll do instead is they'll tell you, you've got this fear. It's a fear you need to address and deal with. Now, I certainly do that. I certainly tell people what fears they have when I notice they have those fears. And I tell them, this is the way to release that fear. Once you release that fear, you won't be governed by it anymore. You, you won't be manipulated by it anymore. People outside of you are not going to be able to control you with it anymore. 
and that's a place of freedom, not, not, not a place of control. So I feel that a, a lot of people need to reappraise their assessment of how they view fear. And any person who says, ah, oh, AJ is a person who's controlling, must have a lot of fear because as you know, in my personal life, I don't control anybody, including yourself. Mm. So, so any person who's got that level of fear must have a lot of fear from their childhood that they're then imposing upon me. And in actual fact, what I observe is that you're teaching people how to release their fears, to move through their fears so that they can actually never be controlled. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And the problem for many is that uh, some of them like being controlled because it gives them the ability to not have to make a personal choice. Mm -hmm. In other words, they don't have to take as much responsibility for their life. Um, and some people um, obviously don't like being controlled, so they think everybody's going to control them when nobody really is. And I find that even just making a statement of truth to people, some people believe that's controlling. And, uh, and, and it blows me away that they think that, but, but the reality is they're not used to hearing any truth from anybody. And when they do, they've always heard it in a manipulative way from their f father or mother. So it's a bit like saying, you know, only telling somebody the truth when you want them to do something or you want them to feel bad about yourself. I don't do that. I tell people the truth all the time and I don't have a motive for doing so other than just to be loving towards them. Mm -hmm. So um, people need to reassess, I feel, their belief systems about fear and their belief systems about control.